Hi everyone, so it's that time of year again. It's 2016 moving into 2017. So we didn't do one of these last year, but we thought it might be a cool idea to talk about kind of like our goals and not quite resolutions, but just what we're hoping to do in 2017. So 2016 was an interesting year for us. It was also really fun. We got to finally hang out and meet with a lot more of our YouTube friends, which was awesome. I really feel like we have a little internet family now. I'm really looking forward to meeting a lot more people in 2017 and just hanging out and making lots more friends. Yeah, it's been really nice sort of getting to know people who we'd never have got to know if we hadn't started doing YouTube. So that's been a really cool thing to have happen. 2016 was also the year I learned to drive. Yay, being a responsible adult with like wheels. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been able to go to a lot more places, do a lot more things. I'm really looking forward to going on loads more road trip adventures in 2017 and travel the country a little bit more. I literally knew Southampton like barely at all. Uh, just the only areas I could walk to really. And it's really cool that I know all these other places now. And we've been to Petersfield, Blue Water. I've been to Westfields. We went to Bristol. So many really cool places, and I hope that continues next year. So this year I had some really awesome opportunities. I got to go to Glastonbury, I saw some really, really cool acts. I got to hang out with my friend Stan, who I don't get to see very often. And it was just a really, really nice time. I got to meet some really cool people and just see some great music. So I'm hoping that 2017 contains some more opportunities like that. We also got to go to London and have a really fun date and see Aladdin on Broadway on the opening night. Oh yeah, I forgot which that. Which was really cool. We went on the very, very first night of the production and it was so good. And I really had a lovely day in London. We went to a cocktail bar on top of John Lewis. <laughs> we ate loads of really good food. We had a really nice time. I got rainbow bagels. I think 2016 for us was also a big year in just sharing it with all of you. Uh, we've really kind of stepped up by introducing the weekend vlogs this year and sort of brought that whole avenue of our lives onto the internet, which has been kind of surreal. Like that's taken some getting used to, but it's been a lot of fun and you know, we love sharing it all with you. It's nice to be able to share different parts of our lives as well. Like we, when we first started, we made our Disney vlogs and that's really fun. And we still are obsessed with Disney, but it's really been fun letting you guys all see other aspects of our life and other things we really enjoy like baking and cooking and beauty and zoom zooms and <laughs> things like that and all the other things that we really enjoy talking about we got to share them with you which was really cool so moving into 2017 what are your goals for 2017 goals or resolutions 2017 will hopefully be the year of change for me there's a lot of things in my life that i want to change and the only person that can really do that is me. So I really want to motivate myself to change jobs into something I really will enjoy doing to get better at editing and spend a lot more time learning a lot more about that. Like I did an editing degree, but I feel like I could do a lot more of effects and things like that and just kind of up my game slightly. Mm -hmm. I really want to do a lot more about that. I want to learn a lot more about how to use the camera myself so that I can do some of the setting up, do some more work behind the camera. Um, and that's kind of, yeah, really just work on my passions and what I really enjoy doing and just put a lot more of my free time into doing that. One of my goals for 2016 was to get far more in shape. And it's one I feel I could have done a lot better with. Uh, I've managed to lose a lot of the weight I wanted to lose, which has been really great. I'm really happy with that. But I also wanted to up my fitness level. Uh, I do cycle every day, but I wanted to kind of just be a bit more healthier and a bit more active. Uh, and unfortunately, I keep running into like knee injury issues. So I think I want to revisit that and start going back to the gym a bit more regularly, but maybe try a bit sort of slower this time and just take it at a different pace and try and incorporate that into my routine a bit better. I would also quite like 2017 to be the year of the budget for me. I am such an impulse spender. It is insane. If I see something I like, I'll buy it. And I kind of want to be a little bit more... Financially responsible? Mm, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. Constrained? Chill. <laughs> <laughs> I just, because I, there's a lot of things that we really want to do. There's a lot of places we really want to go. And, uh, you know, I, I want to go back to Florida and I can't do that if I'm going to Mac every other day <laughs> and spending a lot of money. You need to so. curb your Mac addiction. Curb my Mac addiction. And I want to get a new car this year, which I know just completely defeats the point of what I've just spoken about. 
But if you watch our breakdown video, you know how traumatic <laughs> that was for me. So yeah, I just kind of want to have more things of value, but not that have a worth more than all the tat that I constantly buy. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. When we come back in the year, I'm like, I've spent everything. But yeah, these are quite deep, some of these, aren't they? They're quite... Yeah, it's a very personal, personal video. But, you know, I think if nothing else, we can look back on this video next year and go, yeah, I think, I, I think I've done that. So or you've done Ooh, nothing. Oh, that's awkward. 2016 for me was a year I really wanted to focus on photography. And it's always been like a hobby of mine. And it's definitely something that I've always been kind of interested in over the last few years. But this was the year I really wanted to go, okay, step it up a bit and pay a bit more attention to it. And I'm so glad that I did because I think I've come so far in just this year alone. Looking back at some of the images that I took at the beginning of the year, we'll throw one up now, and some of the ones that I've been taking towards the end of the year, I think I'm finally starting to find my style and the direction that I wanna go. And it's something that I'm really starting to feel like I could do a bit more professionally. So 2016 was spent practicing and 2017, I really wanna get out there and start doing maybe some paid work and maybe just try and be a bit more professional about it and start to guide it more into something that I could maybe do professionally one day. Similar to Sarah, in 2017, I also wanna be a bit more involved in the YouTube channel and I really wanna get better at editing. That's probably my big one that I wanna try and do for this next year. Being able to edit would free up a lot of our time on the videos that we make and I think is a skill that now I'm more involved in, in a YouTube content creation type thing, I need to, uh, need to have under my belt. So editing is probably gonna be a big one for me this year. As well as also, you know, trying to improve like lighting and coloring and all the camera stuff as well. Like constantly trying to get better with all of that. So not gonna stop that in 2017. It's just gonna be my main focus, probably editing. So those are just some of our New Year's goals, resolutions. They'll probably change when I realize that I have given myself unachievable goals. I wanna rein it in slightly. Or when you realize they're just hard and you don't wanna do it. I don't like doing things that are hard, but uh, <laughs> I'll give it a good go. I definitely will. I've got lots of plans. We've made a video. It's like a promise. Oh, it's Can't not break a that. promise. It's a suggestion at the <laughs> best. It's uh, guidelines, if you will. So let us know what your New Year's resolutions are and how long you think you'll stick to them because my New Year's resolution last year was to wear winged eyeliner every day until I perfected it. The fact that I'm not wearing any eyeliner today is just let you know that did not go very well. I like to sleep more than I like to do winged eyeliner. <laughs> so I was like, I could get up 10 minutes and do my eyeliner or I could just sleep in. So I've got better. I'm just well, there you go then. That's like progress. Like progress is better than no progress. Even if you can't complete your goal, 100% making progress towards it is better than just not doing anything. Yeah. So let us know what your New Year's goals are, what you liked and what you disliked about 2016. I know pretty much everyone is ready for this year to be over. Um, but it could be worse. In 1966, everyone had the plague and died. It wasn't that bad. In 1966, everyone had the plague and died. Wait, I'm 18, glad that we record these 66. things sometimes. I'm so glad that this gets to live on my Wait, camera forever. Of you saying that in 1966, <laughs> everyone got the plague and died. Was it 1866? 1866, everyone got the plague and died. It's not that bad. 1966. Three years before we went to the moon, everyone got the plague and died. <laughs> oh my god, I had it. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is getting left in. No. So thank you for watching. It's been an amazing 2016. Has and it? Yeah, well, it's been for us. I would say that you guys have been amazing and made our 2016 pretty amazing, even if it's been kind of terrible on the whole. <laughs> it's pretty so thank you for staying with us and we'll see you in 2017 for lots more content and lots more cool things. Happy 2017! Bye. <laughs> Do that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And why not check out one of our other videos, which should be on screen somewhere right about now.